Over the last 30 years, the Adoption Exchange has connected nearly 7,000 foster children with a family. And this weekend, the heart behind the Mass Gallery opening will connect artists, celebrities, and the community with the Adoption Exchange. Ginger Ribbonbark is with the Adoption Exchange, and Roy Sumner Johnson owns Sumner and Dean Gallery. Good morning, Ginger. Uh, tell us more about how the Adoption Exchange works and how it changes a child's life. Um, the Adoption Exchange works to recruit families for the children who are in the foster care system. Okay. So a lot of these children have been in, in care um, for four years or more, wow. and we work with the children that are hardest to place. Okay. So we have children of all ages, we have children of all backgrounds, we have children of all races. Wow. Um, and. It, it, really what we do is try to find the right family because we believe every child deserves a family. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the children who are right now waiting for a family specifically? Um, yeah, actually I have two boys that um, we've been doing some recruiting for. We call them our Wednesday's child. Okay. Um, and that comes from that poem, Wednesday's child is full of woe. Aww. And um, we have a, a young boy named Gabriel. He's about 14, and um, he is—he's uh, an artist, actually. Oh. So he fits right in with our our work this this month. Um, and he is. Um, it's interesting, I had someone say to me the other day, why would a teenager need a family? Oh my gosh. And um, we do, we work with a lot of older children because they've been in care yeah. for a very long time. These kids aren't bad kids, they've had bad parents. Yeah. And yeah. we really want them to be able to have some place to go home to from school, somebody to pay their car insurance, somebody sure. to hang their picture on the wall. Right. It really makes a huge difference. I think we can all agree in our teenage years, we needed our parents more than ever. Yeah. I mean, we really need a family at that stage and, of our lives. And a lot of those kids have been through some tough times. Yep. Can you tell us, describe the moment when a child becomes first part of a family? Mm. Um, you know, it's wonderful. We have a Wendy's Wonderful Recruiter that is sponsored by the Dave Thomas Foundation. Oh, nice. And she attends a lot of the finalizations of adoptions. Okay. And um, she gets to go to the court hearing where they pronounce the the um, group of family, and then they usually have a big party Aww. because um, most of the kids that we work with are mm -hmm. older and they're sure. they're aware of everything that's going on and they know they've been waiting for a family. Well, how do you actually recruit the adoptive families, and then what are the steps to take towards the adoption itself? Um, we work a lot through our website. We okay. have a great website with a children's gallery on it, and we have people from all over the country who um, look at these kids and say. Oh, that child could fit with Aww. my family. That's, you know, they love horses. We have a ranch. And it starts the, the conversation. Mm -hmm. They'll give us a call or they'll do an online inquiry. It'll go straight to their social worker. Okay. And then they'll see if that's a good match for the child. Right. So we do a lot of our work through the internet. We do a lot of events in the local community. Nice. Um, to make sure that people know about these children. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, a lot of fundraisers that raise awareness for the issue of mm -hmm. the children waiting and foster care. Then oh, nice. the heart behind the mask is one of them. Yes, and we're going to get to that in a moment. Before we do that, I wanted to just know, can single parents adopt? Is there a, a rule? There isn't. Um, okay. The thing that's wonderful now is um, families can look, uh, they can ha take any form. They can look any way. Yes. Um, and, and particularly a child who might have been abused by a male figure mm. would thrive in a either single parent family with just a woman or a, um, a two-woman couple. Mm -hmm. It all depends Good on the point. child's history. Right. So really what we're working to do is make that match that works best for that child. Good and point. we don't come in there with preconceived notions of of how the family needs to look. It's just the right family for that child. Yeah. Right. There really, there's no rule. I mean, like you said, a family could be anything these days. It really yeah. can. And, and Roy, you know, we're excited to hear a little bit about the heart behind the mask. Well, um, the Sumner Dean Gallery, which is at 517 Central, yes. Northwest downtown, this is our second year that we've hosted this, and, and we're very honored to have this project with Ginger. There are over 60 artists who wow. get one of the masks that's just white, and then they can do whatever they want with them. They can mm. embellish them, they can break them, they can put them back together again, and there will be 60 of them on Saturday that will be... Wow sold at the Sumner Indian Art Gallery at 517 Central downtown. That is wow. so cool. These I love These are really that. cool. I love the ones that you brought in. Are these from this year or from last year? These are this year's masks. This year's masks. They're beautiful. They're and beautiful. actually, we're going to take a look at last year's auction so that our mm -hmm. viewers can kind of get an idea of what it's all about and what they can expect. Tell us what we're seeing right now. Um, we have all the masks 
um, displayed on the wall and then on the table and okay. each one has a little um, information sheet that is what the artist gave us to say mm -hmm. um, and so it tells a little bit about uh, the process or the individual and then the value of the mask. Now how do you recruit the artists for this? Um, you know as a nonprofit, we're always asking everyone to give us their uh, time and talents. Okay. And really, the committee is how we get the artists. We started three years ago, and we had ten masks, mm -hmm. and we um, it was a perfect um, tie-in to our gala. We have a gala every November, and okay. then three years ago, it was a masquerade ball. Nice. And oh, so we started good. this project as part of that gala. And Catherine McGill, she's a local. Oh, we love Catherine. Oh, she's she's been on our show many times. She did a great mask for us, and Heather Wilson was our speaker, and she did a nice mask for us. Nice. So we only had 10 masks that year. And what and about then, this year? Well, this year, 60, over 60. Wow. And we are, um, we one of our chairs this year, um, her brother is a um, entertainer, a promoter, and okay. so we'll have a mask line by Bruno Mars. <gasps> oh, and I love Bruno Taylor Mars. Swift. Mm -hmm. And um, Nate Roos, who is the lead singer for Fun, if you know. So we have a couple of celebrities. We've asked cool. politicians. We've sent out letters to everyone. We go to galleries and see artists' names and and stalk them. But mainly, <laughs> people who are are committed to our organization ask their friends, mm -hmm. and they ask their friends, and that's how we get the artists. Oh, that's and this here is a look at some of the masks from this year. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. that, these will be on dis So these are some that we're going to see on display. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at that. <gasps> Ooh, in honor of maybe the Lion King coming to town <laughs> at Hope Joy this fall. <laughs> These are amazing. These are really cool. Cool. And to think that there's so much, I'm sorry to interrupt you, I was just going to say, to think that there's so much creativity that goes behind this, and not all of these people are professional artists. Now, this year we had a lot of families and children who did masks for us as well, Ad wow. some adoptive families and children. Amazing. Wow. Well, how can our viewers get more information about the event? Um, we are listed on almost all the community calendars. Okay. Um, they can always call our office at 247 1769. Mm -hmm. And of course, they can call Sumner and Dean and get yes. information about what um, our gallery opening and what he has going on. Yeah, and Roy, you have tons of great things to offer beyond the mask itself. That's right. <laughs> Sumner and Dean is there seven days a week, and we have 75 artists and 7,000 square feet. Fantastic. Nice. Well, thank you for all you're doing, and thanks thank for you. giving your heart to doing this wonderful cause. Thanks we for having that. us. Thank you. It's thank our you so pleasure. Much. And after the break, we will tell you how to get into the star-spangled spirit.